Hey everybody, Shabo here, back from a video, and today I'll be showing you how to make a shop in Roblox. So the first thing you want to do is make the cache. So you want to go to workspace, it should be an explorer, and click that arrow. You want to right click workspace insert object, and then click script. You can name it whatever you want. You can just click it and go to properties and then you can change the name. Or you can right click and press rename right there. I'm just gonna name it leaderboard script. Now we're gonna start scripting. The first thing you're going to want to do is make the function. So whenever a player joins, it gives them the cache thing, the cache value, and then you can change it and do all that stuff. So local function on player join. So this will fire whenever a player joins. You want to put that right there. That will just be the player. And then press enter. And they should appear here. And now we're going to want to see now we're just going to add the leaderboard. So I'm going to click, I'm going to put in local folder equals instance.new folder. You have to name the folder to leader stats. So leader stats, like that. And then I'm going to put the folder inside of the player, like that. So now they have a leaderboard whenever they join the game. Now we're going to add the cache. So local cache equals instance.new int value. And int value is just a number value. So now we go to cache like that. Dot name equals cache. Cache.parent equals folder. So now it should appear on the leaderboard. You can also change the starter value to whatever you want. I'm just going to change the value to 25. And then now, you're going to want to make the function fire whenever a player joins. This makes it do all this code here. So now, game get service, like that, and then put players, and then put player added, connect, and then you want to put on player join. And get rid of this part if that shows up. And then it should look exactly like this. So now, if we go in the game, click play at the top. Now, we have a cache right there. So now let's click stop. Now let's go back to scripting. So now we're going to make a shop script. So we're going to get rid of this. And now we're going to add some GUIs just buttons and stuff. So let's right click start a GUI in Explorer, insert object, screen GUI, or you can click up here. And then right click screen GUI, insert object, text button, or you can click it up there. Now you can move this around and stuff. I'm just going to put it like this. And then you can go to properties, change what it says. So I'm just going to name it um, item. Item 425 cache. Now we're going to start scripting it. I'm going to right click the text button, insert object, local script. Now we can start scripting the button. So now we get rid of that. And then let's make another function function on press. So when we click the button, it's going to fire this. And then now we're going to see if there's a remote event. We're going to add that right now. So you go to replicated storage, insert object, remote event. And then you can go inside replicated storage. It should be right there. Then I'm just going to name it buy item. 
for now, we're going to do this. So game, get service, replicate storage, dot buy item, fire server. So it'll tell the server that they want to buy the item. Now we need to do the same thing as we did in the Leobird script. But this time we're going to do the button. So script dot parent, which is the button, and then dot mouse button one click. Or you can do the tap if you're on like mobile or something. So I'm just going to do click since I'm on computer. And then connect on press. Get rid of this if that appears. And then now, I'm going to go back to the leaderboard script. And we're going to make another function for whenever the player buys the item. We can't do it on this script because then the item will only show on the player. Only the own player will see the item. Nobody else will see the item. So we're going to do local function buy. Then we put player there so we know what player it is. Because this automatically sends the player who sent it. Then we can check if they have leader stats because sometimes it glitches. And then we check if they have the cache thing. So local leader stats equals player find find first child leader stats. Then if leader stats, then we can put the code there. I'm gonna also gonna double check if they have the cache yet. So local cache equals leader stats find first child cache. You gotta make sure you get the correct name with the capitals and stuff, otherwise it won't work. Then if cache, then cache dot value was cache dot value minus how much you want it to be. So 25. We're also gonna check if they have enough money for it. So if cash and cash dot value is greater or equal to, so it's a greater than sign and an equal sign like that, and then how much it costs, 25, 25. And then now we're gonna make the tool and give it to the player when they buy the item. So I'm gonna go back here. We're just gonna make a basic like brick for the tool. So you can go to home. If that disappears or it's not there at all, you can just click that, and then it should appear. You want to click part. You want to go to explorer, rename this part to handle. Go to workspace, right click it, insert object, and then go to tool. Put the handle inside of the tool by dragging it. And then we we'll put this in replicated storage. Now we can go back to the script, and make the player have it whenever they buy it. So local clone is we're gonna need to clone it. So if they have like 50 cash, they could buy it twice or something, and have two of the same tool. So local clone equals game get service replicated storage dot tool clone like that. So it'll clone the item. And then, if we do clone dot parent equals player dot backpack, now it'll give them the tool every time they buy it. So if we click play, I forgot. I forgot one more thing. So let's go back by clicking stop. We forgot to add this here and hook up the function to it. So game get service replicated storage dot buy item fire and I'll dot on server event connect buy and we're also gonna make this wait for that thing to load in because it might not be loaded in yet and it'll glitch out and the script won't work wait for child and then put buy item there and then now if we click play if we press this, we get the tool in our inventory. But if we click it again, since we don't have enough cash for it, it won't give me it. Now if I go here, go to players, go to my name, 
go to leader stats, cash, and then if I change this to like 100, and then go back, and then click it again, you can get multiple of these. You can buy as many as you want until you run out of cash. And that's how you make a shop in Roblox. Make sure to slap that like button, punch that subscribe button. Peace.